This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. What we've just witnessed in Tennessee with the anti-democratic action to remove two lawmakers who just so happen to be black in Tennessee, and they're the ones that get removed, while the white lady gets to stay, it's all been a little on the nose for these racists. But what I want to talk about today related to this particular topic is activism, is organizing, is actually getting up and doing something, getting off the couch, going out to protest, to march, to let your voice be heard. Because in the coming months, in the coming years, it's going to take actual action from us if we want to save our democracy. This was this was uh, noticed uh, by Brittany Page, my, my partner in life and partner in content creation, my podcast co-host. When we went down last summer to the Supreme Court after the draft memo was leaked, and Brittany had a, a, a fascinating um, revelation. What she noticed was, is the right, when we went down that day, they were organized. They had a podium, they had a PA sound system at the ready, ready to go. They were ready for this moment. They fought for this moment for decades. Uh, The grueling, grinding work of activism, they worked for it. And they won the day because of their tenacity. And it took a a while for liberals and Democrats and people who were standing for women's reproductive health rights. It took a long time for them to show up. And then it was like homemade signs and it, it just wasn't the same. And the right is continuing to try to work against our democracy every minute of every single day on a panoply of issues. And what took place in Tennessee gives me hope. But I hope it does more than give hope to you. I hope that it motivates you to get involved in your local politics at the local level to take back our democracy, to fight for our country, to make our country the place we want to be in in the future, the place we want to leave to our children and to their children. If you just watch this video of, of, of Justin Jones being re-sworn in on the steps of the Tennessee Capitol. Look at these people who fought, who were enraged, who raised their voices, who marched through Nashville to the state Capitol. This is in all of our power. Your voice may not seem like enough on its own. But when you combine your voice with others, it makes a massive difference. Had they just gone away quietly and not raised a stink, so to speak, who knows where we would be right now? But it's because of thousands of people gathering together one with another to raise their voice and let it be known that they would not stand for this anti-democracy power grab. The unfortunate thing is there will be more of this to come. This is not the end. On, on Not just on guns, but on abortion, on church and state. There is an all-out, full frontal assault, assault on the Constitution right now on the part of white Christian nationalists. And they will not stop until every marginalized group is under threat and underfoot. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. You can also leave a comment that helps game the algorithm a little bit. I think this is going to be my last video of the day. (laughs) Having Having a rough time getting the words out. Uh, Follow me on social media. I'd love to see you there. I'm at Dollamore all across the board. And if you appreciate what I do and you want to help support what I'm doing here, help produce my videos here, you can click the join button below, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. 
Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I hope that I, in some way, motivate you to get more involved than you actually are because it is only with your help and together that we're going to be able to make our world a better place. Uh, I'll see you next time. On that note, be genuine. Take care of one another.